edition of Windows and Current Affairs and uh, today we're going to be talking about youth as uh, a power uh, that we could invest on and also supporting Egypt. Uh, and when we talk about supporting Egypt, we talk about many sectors in society. But uh, currently speaking, in the middle of all the events that are taking place regionally and internationally, the power of youth is very important in, um, in addition to other sectors in society. Uh, but uh, since Egypt have been investing uh, in youth for a long time now, uh, it's time for youth to be the backbone uh, for Egypt and the driving force in crisis. We're going to be talking about that in detail. What does all that mean? Uh, or the questions to all uh, these answers, we're going to find it with our dear guest and prominent guest right here with us live in the studio, Dr. Mu'taz Abu Zaid, Professor of International Relations. Uh, good evening, Dr. Abu Zaid. Good evening. Uh, of course, uh, we're talking about youth and we're talking about the nation uh, at a very uh, critical time where uh, there is um, almost a genocide and uh, crimes against humanity being committed in, uh, in the Palestinian territory against the innocent and armed civilians uh, and also the uh, economic crisis around us. Um, uh, there are, uh, of course, uh, lots of uh, events that are unfolding every morning. In the middle of that, of all that, Egypt is taking strong, steady steps. Uh, towards development. I mean, our national projects are being uh, still going on uh, successfully. I mean, uh, our economic situation is improving and uh, we're taking a lead uh, compared to other countries. And of course, uh, democratically speaking, been, uh, Egypt is, has been preparing uh, for uh, uh, elections and everything. And in the middle of all that, crisis start. So where are we located now? I mean, where, if, where could we start from now? And is that going to distort our path of development? I mean, what is exactly happening? Um, firstly, we must send our condolences, all of our condolences to uh, the people of uh, Palestinian uh, territorial. And of course, um, we are uh, uh, supporting their uh, situation. And of course, um, uh, all people, uh, can declare here in Egypt their uh, total refusal for the genocide, as you said, uh, that happened now in the uh, uh, in Gaza territorial. And of course, according to what you mentioned about the critical situation here in the Middle East uh, crisis and the Middle East countries, Egypt, uh, it's obvious for, for us all that uh, it's now considered the, the main power and the great power in, in this region. Of course, it was the first call when the crisis uh, began uh, uh, about uh, two or three weeks ago. Of course, all the uh, uh, great countries all over the world, uh, European Union, of course, USA, uh, uh, the Gulf region, and of course, the African uh, countries, uh, called Egypt to uh, uh, begin its steps and to take its steps towards this crisis. And of course, the response of Egypt was as you said, very steady and very strong and uh, uh, declaring the clear Egyptian situation for supporting the Palestinian uh, uh, case and, the, uh, uh, and uh, refusing uh, any uh, military intrusion or uh, invasion mm -hmm. for uh, 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 houses, lands and of course any harms or damages for the Palestinian people. Uh, and of course the steps was taken by the Egyptian country uh, 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 showed that uh, 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 we are translating these principles to uh, 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 realistic steps that all uh, people around the world uh, touched and feel uh, uh, this uh, at uh, uh, the previous days. Right. Talking about youth, I mean, um, youth have been at the forefront of uh, the focus of the um, Egyptian administration. I mean, uh, so many efforts were taken to be able to enable youth and empower youth in order to be the driving force for the future. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, youth have come a long way ever since President Abdel Fattah Sisi have stepped into office. It's almost like 10 years now and youth have been uh, taking uh, the front line in every event, uh, in every activity, um, at, um, I mean being prepared well for that, um, uh, mean, um, uh, also enabled uh, um, uh, educationally and education-wise, I mean, 
um, awareness wise um, yes. uh, on every front so w how do you assess the power of youth now in society and how important is it um, firstly we must admit that it was really a problem here in Egypt that for a very long time many years many decades uh, there uh, was a very uh, clear exclusion for uh, uh, youth and their power and their participation in many fields and of course according to the new republic starting from 2014 uh, with the leadership of uh, Mr. President Abdel Fattah al-Sisi of course and according to the new principles in this uh, new republic uh, uh, was declared by uh, the constitution issued in 2014 and the new vision for uh, the participation and the power of youth that it was clear during uh, the years from 2011 to 2013 participating in uh, the political changes happened here in Egypt. Mm. Of course, it was clear that we cannot deny or we cannot lose this power again. Firstly, we put the equation. More participation for uh, young people will give new steps, new vision, new dream, new spirit for this country. And of course, it was clear that Mr. Abdel Fattah Sisi had a very clear strategy for the participation of uh, uh, youth in these development movements. Of course, starting with the annual uh, uh, conferences of uh, youth and of course the great participation even uh, internally from uh, the Egyptian youth or outside from international youth and of course it was a very successful experience for Egypt and it was needed to be repeated in many countries as it proved the uh, new vision and the new equation as I said for the participation of youth for uh, this development. The second point, youth themselves felt that they have a great role in this country mm. or of course in the new republic and they were encouraged and they had a, a, a chance to be heard and to uh, uh, give uh, their efforts and give their participations in many fields mm. and in response the strategy of the government welcomed them in uh, uh, the presidential programs participation in uh, uh, civil society participation in the initiatives of uh, the presidency of about Haya uh, Karima uh, about Takaful and Karama all these initiatives that uh, was raised upon uh, the shoulders of uh, these youth. Mm. So, of course, we can say that it, 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 if you put the right uh, basis and if you put the legal frame and the constitutional frame for this participation, of course, this will be a, a good response or an effective response from youth. Mm. Right. So, uh, exactly, uh, youth have been uh, taking leading positions also uh, and some uh, governments uh, as, an, as, as assistant uh, gov governors and yes. also uh, in uh, decision-making positions and uh, in institutions, political institutions, political parties and everything. How have that affected the awareness of youth? I mean, even youth who are just uh, making a debut in their in, uh, I mean, um, uh, practical life. Uh, do you think that the level of awareness have taken uh, youth to a whole new level? I mean, with all this encouragement and enforcement, where can youth find, I mean, where do we find the awareness amongst youth? Um, we must mention that beside uh, considering youth as a great power for participation in many fields, we must uh, put our hand uh, on the nature of youth. Youth mm. is a very great power, a very wide power. Uh, maybe uh, cannot be controlled or cannot be uh, limited any time. Mm. According, it's a, a mixture of dreams and, and uh, visions and uh, hopes and, of course, uh, 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 great uh, uh, intention to participate and to give more. And, of course, all these abilities, if cannot be invested in the right way, of course, it will be lost or it can be invested against the country. And mm. we had many experiences about this, like terrorism, like uh, uh, religious groups or something like this that can attract this power of youth and to be uh, uh, recruited uh, in something course, that is not Of course, recruit. to be seized against the, uh, the country. And of course, investing this power can be, uh, uh, as you said, we can begin it by education. And of course, a very great step after education, which is awareness, which is training, which is 
practical life which is uh, uh, participating in uh, uh, political, economic, social field. And of course, according to this practical awareness, this will give a new vision, a new vision supporting the government, supporting the country, supporting uh, uh, many uh, uh, efforts more, uh, or more efforts for participation of youth, uh, drawing a map for the new generations, encouraging the children to be in their places after some years, and of mm. course preparing them to take the positions of uh, uh, decision making, as you said, in many fields. And of course it, it was uh, clearly uh, uh, observed uh, during, uh, I think, the, the last two or three years uh, by noticing the patches of the National Training Academy, of course, they give uh, uh, new examples for uh, Egyptian youth in a way of thinking, in a way of decision making, in the uh, strategy of leadership, in the uh, uh, visions that, can, that they can serve or participate in the uh, activities they can uh, uh, work or uh, according to their functions or specifications. Of course, a new level of awareness according to this strategy can be observed now and of course can be applied as well. Right, let's be honest. Uh, I mean, uh, the Egyptian administration have been taking youth as, a, as an issue at the forefront of its uh, yes. I mean, focus. Yes. Uh, they have been sparing every effort to be able to enable youth, empower it and enforce it in a way so that it could be the backbone for the future. And uh, to be honest also, they, the Egyptian administration have succeeded to an outstanding level. Yes. Um, I mean, Th by the advent of time and because what the advent of uh, uh, the world happiness ha happenings and everything uh, sometimes the egyptian administration are put under the, is put under the limelight under op op lots of criticism and opposition from other generations who do not really feel uh, the challenges egypt is facing Yes. Security challenges, uh, cri uh, critical challenges, crisis, uh, conflict of crisis, maybe uh, um, uh, economic even uh, challenges. So uh, the, 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 the duty of youth now, as they are at the center of events and inside the kitchen of uh, the political and economic kitchen, they have to stand up yes. to their country and try to explain to those generations, try to explain to the people who are always criticizing the Egyptian, sometimes, I mean, the only people, some minority in society that is criticizing the Egyptian administration, like every, any other democratic country, mm -hmm. they, it's their duty to be able to reflect the real image, mm -hmm. not only uh, domestically, which is not happening that much, I mean, to that extent, but also internationally. Oh, yes. They should be the mirror mm -hmm. that reflect the true picture of Egypt. And how have they, the way that they are standing like that is a true belief that this nation is a huge, uh, great nation that is supporting them, bringing new generations who are uh, political, uh, politically aware enough to be able to speak for their countries. Do you see that happening? Yes, yes of course. I really agreed uh, with what you said, uh, according to the rule of uh, the new youth. And of course, it, it will be a very great investment for the efforts of the Egyptian country according to the participation of youth during uh, conferences, uh, training courses, awareness, uh, participating in political parties or uh, uh, elections to be members in the parliament, to have some uh, uh, positions in the government as vice ministers or assistants for uh, uh, governors. Of course, uh, uh, this can be invested internally. But on the other hand, we must notice that some countries now are suffering lack of use. Mm. And of course, they felt yes. a very great loss according to this. They have no future and of course, they have no visions for, uh, uh, for tomorrow. Uh, even they are uh, 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 very progressed and developed countries. But according to this crisis, they can now accept refugees. They can now give their nationality to anyone that can serve or participate in their uh, 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 fields or their uh, uh, interests. Of course, we are lucky to have nearly about 60% of our nation from youth. And of course, it's a great power that can be observed and maybe can be uh, uh, employed from other uh, countries that you have all this huge power uh, according to a percentage of your population. So it must be... Uh, 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 mentioned every time the role of uh, youth as you said even internally or 
outside of Egypt. According to the new positions, according to the new fields, according to the new functions for youth, of course, all this must be invested. We can add to this that the new youth in Egypt have uh, the ability to do this. Of course, we can, uh, 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 many years ago, we may prefer to have the experience factor, and so we can uh, say that there was an ex exclusion for youth from many positions. Mm -hmm. But nowadays, they didn't only occupy these positions, but they have the ability to be a mirror, as you said, to uh, talk about the Egyptian experience, to uh, give awareness to new generations, to uh, uh, explain the current uh, situation of the Egyptian country, politically, economic, uh, uh, or social, or even uh, 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 for uh, the foreign policy of Egypt. And of course, they have the ability to do this, so it must be uh, 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 invented, and we must depend more on this use. I think this will give new results or uh, progress, a new progress for uh, the Egyptian country for the participation of youth. Of yeah. course. Uh, and speaking about foreign policy, there is also um, um, beyond foreign policy, which is uh, soft power. Yes. One of the main uh, characteristics of the Egyptian administration that we have been uh, sort of popular yes. for ever since President Abdel Fattah mm. Sisi have came into office. and. Because of soft power, we have Egypt have retained its leading position in Africa. It has gained its leading position in the Arab world again. And now it is proving to the whole world that it is becoming uh, the center of, uh, I mean, a leading position when it comes to international crisis. Yes. And the, 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 the last forum that was held uh, uh, earlier, like two or three days uh, in the new administration, to be able to sort out uh, the Palestinian uh, crisis uh, was held by Egypt that yes. hosted more than 30 countries to be able to try to find a solution. So uh, in that light, um, uh, in, as Egypt is, I mean, tremendously spending every effort in its hand, especially playing with the soft power to be able to sort out crisis worldwide and uh, remain the l leader of the region and everything, where do you see the role of Egypt when it came to, the role of youth, I mean, when it came to uh, the aid that was uh, delivered uh, yes. by the Rafah border to uh, the um, uh, stranded uh, Palestinians there, poor Palestinians, and unarmed innocent Palestinians inside there. So uh, how do you assess the role of youth, which was very great and very clear uh, in that particular domain? Yes, of course, it was uh, very clear, and I think, according to my uh, 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 my theory, it's an action and a reaction. Mm. Of course, as you begin with preparing and uh, giving a, a very great awareness for this use, and on the other hand, you have a steady and very strong situations, like a great forum like this, like a declared situation for supporting the Palestinian crisis, and of course, uh, the and very courageous yes. at the same time. Uh, Egypt, the only yes. courageous country that took the lead because everybody, there was, a gl there was global silence. Nobody wanted even to utter a word. Egypt took the lead and made yes. it, so everybody else followed suit, followed the footsteps of Egypt. It's a duty, as you said. Mm. We are the great power here in the uh, Middle East uh, region, in the Arabian countries, in the African Integrity countries. Also. It's a duty, yes, mm. of course. No, no one else can play this role. And of course, as long as Egypt has As long this, as if they want yes. to play it, they can play it, but they're unable to. I think they are <laughs> always waiting from Egypt to have the initiative. Right. And, we, and we had a, a great history in this field. And mm. of course, according to this duty and according to this responsibility, we must do this. So, of course, uh, they, uh, we, uh, we are, as usual, having the initiative, we are uh, uh, having the power, we have the vision, we have the strategy, and of course, we have the power to apply this or to, to, to make it realistic in front of the whole world. And on the other hand, as a response, the youth moved, mm -hmm. declaring the, their full support for the movements of the Egyptian country, a delegation for our president, Mr. Abdel Fattah al-Sisi, for, for all his movement and for all his situation, mm. <coughs> that we knew that it's very keen to mm. save the people, to save the souls, to save the uh, uh, assets, to save the countries, and to save the future for us and for the whole Arabian countries. And of course, this participation was declared from many situations, even by 
status or uh, blog on social media or on uh, uh, many sites on the internet and of course the youth in the universities made many uh, 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 campaigns and uh, uh, many initiatives for giving uh, aids and helps and donations for the Palestinian people of course as long as the government had a certain strategy or a clear strategy in front of the people encouraging them to participate it will have a great response from youths of course to give all their efforts to these strategies and these uh, uh, movements and participate and of course the experience of uh, uh, Rafah corridor on uh, on the borders with uh, the Palestinian uh, territories proves that we are uh, 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 insisting on our situation and we cannot uh, 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 go back anytime we are the uh, of course yes so yes of course we are uh, the guardian of this case yes. what do we talk about um, uh, I mean youth supporting the Egyptian administration supporting Egypt yes. if that means supporting Egypt of course we're talking about a very a brave leader like President Abdel al Fattah al-Sisi have been uh, unluckily put in a very sad situation yes. uh, we have our hands tied because uh, the idea of displacement of the innocent I mean they uh, the real uh, owners of the land is mm. uh, is being uh, prepared uh, so that uh, uh, so that they could be displaced in another uh, in Sinai and uh, I mean turning it into a theater for war and everything and this all of this had been prepared uh, at the same time this did not prevent the Egyptian administration or President Abdel Fattah Sisi or the Egyptian people from standing up to the rights of the Palestinians speaking up for them and yes. even uh, delivering aid and standing up to the challenges and the uh, flagrant uh, I mean, uh, position by the other side, the Israeli side and U.S. also, and successfully making it to uh, try to sort out the situation somehow. Yes. If you'd like to elaborate on this also. Um, we can talk about this according to uh, three main points. The first one, we have a president now, Mr. Abdel Fattah al-Sisi, had a very great military history. And of course, he is a man of decisions and he is a man of leadership. And he is considering very well what the war means or what the military movements mean. Mm. And this was clear uh, since 2014 when he began his presidency period by a severe war against terrorism, especially in the region of Sinai. Mm. And of course, we all remembered how much we Lost and in there this. was a lot of yes, challenges of course. also. Of course, it, uh, a lot of challenges according to uh, 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 money, according to people, according to military troops, according to everything. We had uh, a, a great region of the Egyptian territorial as Sinai was totally uh, uh, stopped or paused according to this uh, war against terrorism. The third point, all these situations gave us important information and important uh, 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 data about what is the, uh, uh, what is the uh, uh, plan for mm. these people and how can they be displaced and how they uh, uh, put Sinai in their uh, plan and how they can put Egypt in, in, in their plan as the, uh, it's the most country that may uh, pay this price according to this displacement and according to this information, according to the uh, 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 courage situation of President Abdel Fattah al-Sisi and according to the experience we had from the war against terrorism, of course we can consider this situation in the right way and give of course of great course. decisions. And as not only, it's not Egypt that is going to pay the price, it yes. is the Jerusalem yes, of uh, as uh, um, I mean um, the eternal right for mm. the Palestinians, they are going to pay yes. the price, they are going to be denied their own land once and forever and of course uh, all the violations of international mm. law, all the killings and the genocide is going to move into Sinai. And, and nothing is going to change. And the Egyptian country produced So for the best sake of the caution. Palestinians, uh, of course, and they know yes. that better. They said they're not going to Of course, it will be a very long dissolution exactly. for this crisis. Yes. And that's why a wise leadership at mm. the right time yes. is very much demanded. Totally and that's right. why he is, has been a role model for youth, yes. uh, um, which we hope uh, I mean, amongst generations, people can follow suit. Yes. That great leader, hmm. one day, of that we always feel proud uh, to, to have him as a president. Totally agree, yes. Uh, unfortunately, we ran out of time. We still had a lot to talk about uh, Egypt, a great nation, a great leader, and also its youth.
it has course. been given a, go a golden chance and enabled enough to be able to reflect uh, the bright new Egypt. Yes. Uh, continuing to defy the challenges, the global of challenges. Yes. Uh, on that note, of course, uh, Dr. Muataz Abu Zaid, uh, you are a professor of international law. It has been a great uh, 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 honor having you here, and it has been a great pleasure uh, talking about uh, that topic with you. And uh, I guess uh, we're going to end it here. Thank, Thank you. you so much pleasure for coming over. Thank you. And I guess uh, this uh, brings us uh, to the end of this edition of Windows and Current Affairs. Many thanks to all of you. Until we see you again next week, that's a good bye.